available to your salespeople after some of the ones that didn't make it and so we're actually officially starting to record this session as well okay go ahead so we'll have 100 percent attendance <laughs> so Gary Nuska is a uh, president of uh, the market ICI World Real Estate Network, past chairman CCIM International Conference, past president Central Canada CCIM chapter, and they were the first ones on the internet since 1994. Uh, he also is the press president of the CCIM chapter tra under TRAB, or not under TRAB, but you meet at TRAB. Yes, once, once a every month. month. Every month yeah. you're all invited. And they have 1,000 members in the ICI world. Uh, certified Commercial Investment Member, that's what that stands for. So that's his expertise. I'm the uh, first presenter, I must say, who's on the internet broadcasting live as we speak. And apart from whoever's in this room, we have people hooking up. I saw Danny earlier who already hooked up via the internet, uh, watching the screenshots. Yes. Uh, not watching us, so watching the screenshots. Yes. <laughs> and hearing you. You never know. Oh, well, there, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Gary. Okay, and thank you and to your broker of record, uh, Baljit, for inviting us in to come and talk to you. And this is sort of hopefully the beginning of a long business relationship where we can kind of help you the rest of your lives, really, someday even when you retire. Why? I have a question for you. Someday when you retire, would you mind doing the odd five-minute referral that makes you three to $10,000? Why not? I, it's the only retired broker's program in the world. I'm going to cover that too. But in your documents, you're going to find something else, and it's called a, uh, an internet worksheet. You better pull it out now and have a pen. Here it is. It's called an internet worksheet. You must find it. It's on the left-hand side of your folder. Left-hand side. Yep, you got it. You just, uh, that's it right there. Internet worksheets on the left-hand side. Pull it out. Because what I'm doing here today, folks, is the sum of being on the Internet since 1994. That's 16 years we've been on the Internet now for real estate, doing nothing but helping real estate brokers make money using the power of the Internet, serving your clients well. When you do, you make money. And so the, the things that I'm going to teach today, I can't possibly cover in a 120-minute time period. I can't do it. It's hard. So what I did is I bring this internet worksheet that you can check out things on your own time. And then that way you have access to a lot of the information that we've learned that's benefiting helping the whole industry worldwide. And one of the first things that we're going to get started with, I call it the good, the bad, and the ugly. By the way, what you've been seeing on the screen are some special links that help make people a lot of money. These links that you can put on your, how many people in this room have a website? Okay, we have what we call revenue producing links that you can put on your website. One of them is called Ontario Commercial. Do you see that one there? Ontario Commercial? It's just a button. You can put it on your website. Okay, let's go to the next, uh, the next one here. Again, you'll see Ontario Commercial. My ICI listings. Thank you. And World Commercial. Those are three buttons that you can put on your website. How much does it cost? Anybody remember? Two forty per year. That's basically it. Okay. There is a one-time seventy-nine dollar sign-up fee, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Again, Ontario Commercial. Now I'm going to demonstrate what's in that link in a minute because there's fifteen thousand listings in that one link, and what's special about it? We set it up so nobody can click on it, on the listings. What does that mean? That means they have to call you. Isn't that fantastic? So immediately, like that, you are going to have listings on your website. And you're going to send all your buyers to your own website. You never send people to ICI World ever again once you join ICI World. You only send people to your own website. I'm going to demonstrate that with websites in a moment. But let's officially start this. Uh, let me just close this, make that smaller. One moment. OK, here we go. Now, I talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. 
of, of it is. <laughs> That's another one. <clears throat> and when I talk about the internet, the good, the bad, and the ugly, there's a lot of terrible things that are happening on the internet. And the reason I want to show you this particular page that's coming up, this is one of the first things you should mark down on your internet worksheet. Mark that down. ICIWorld.net slash security. You should go there on your own time. You can learn a lot about the internet. Um, I'm going to click on this right now. And by the way, just for fun, I'm going to start by doing... Now, if there's a little noise that he's making there, I'm actually going to mute you out there a little bit, Benny, for now, if you don't mind. A little, I heard just a little bit of noise. But you're going to see a password test here. And what I'd like you to do to take the password test is think of a password that you have now, but change it. Change it exactly the same way you structure your password. So if it's Jim123, give me a password, Bob267. Okay, change your password. Do not give me a real password. Okay. And I'm going to go through the room, and we're going to check how good your passwords are. Okay? And can I start with you? Do you mind? Okay, give me a password, any one at all. But make one up, not, not a real one. Your normal password, how you would structure your normal password. Uh, so you don't want my real password? I do not want your real password. You should never give it to anybody. Make one up, but just change the numbers and the letters or whatever it is that you do. Go ahead, give me one. Uh, K54908 S. Okay. There you go. 70% rating. Do you see that? Somebody else give me one. Right here. B Toronto. B T O R O N T O. Underscore. Underscore. One, one two. two. What's the rating? Can you see that from the back? Forty-two. 42? Good, good eyes. Okay. Um, Check. That's fine. Two eight eight. Two eight eight. Zero eight zero zero. Does that surprise you? In other words, it surprises you. Stay, stay with me. That's only two percent. And we're going to be getting you to tighten up all your passwords. That's what this is all about. Okay, next. N-U-M-B-E-R, the number one. U-D-A-Y. Only 35%. Okay, right here. Yes. I have, what is it? A? A-P-P-L-E. A, oh, put a capital A at the beginning? Yes. A, P, P, L, E. 28. Underscore. Underscore. T, O, R. What? T, O, R. T, O, R. Watch this, people. An asterisk is the one over the number 8 key, the little star. Watch this. Bingo. Is that not a hot password? What did she do? She used the capital and some regular letters. Mark that down. Someplace on the internet worksheet. Uh, just mark down. You can go in the space on the right-hand side. Just mark down password. Use the capital letters with little letters. She used an asterisk, which is a star. Put a star. She also used an underscore. So in other words, when you start putting those characters in, if somebody ran a computer, they could run through a list of numbers for your password. Sooner or later, they're going to get your number, right? If they really want to, they can do it. But as soon as you put an asterisk in that, it just changes the permutations and combinations. That's it for now, people. That was the main reason I wanted to show this, is to you can make passwords better. How can you learn that? What website do you go to to learn this? What is it? ICIWorld.net slash security. You go there and you can learn a lot about different things that are going on on the internet. Now, has anybody heard of the princess from Nigeria who has $20 million? 
every day? <laughs> okay, and, and if, you, if you give her $25,000, she'll split the $20 million with you? It's been going on for a long time, hasn't it? Now, the interesting thing about that, believe it or not, they have stolen over one billion dollars worth of real estate, uh, one billion dollars worth of money from people in North America. I'm going to show you um, a movie. You can, again, on this security page, you're going to see where it says Nigerian scams. You see that on, on there? There's links to that. And there's a, a movie, a 2020 ABC television, there it is, 2020 program. I, um, okay, they've changed the link on that. I'm going to have to fix the link on that, people. But there's a video here that you can see where they have done a sting and caught one of the people. Okay? And it was a sting that they did because it was a dentist who got taken for $300,000. Is a dentist a smart man? He got taken. Okay? $300,000. Now... My question to you is this. You know about the Nigerian scam. Do you think these people are going away? No, they're all coming back to be reinforcing. That's right. Every day, every day. Second question. Do you think these people are getting smarter? Yeah. Yes. So you have to be even sharper and more diligent. And because you are all leaders in the business, I say you're leaders in the information business, every one of you, because you have a sphere of influence of maybe 200 people that you know that you market real estate to. That's a sphere of influence. How many people there are getting taken? They don't know about these things. That link, you can actually put it on your website as a, as a public service document to protect people, to warn them about things. Even your own family is maybe on the Internet getting taken, and they don't tell you because they feel embarrassed. I had a broker. I don't, won't say the company. We had 50 people in a room, and after the meeting, he says, Gary, come on over here to the side. Him and his wife took me aside. He said, Gary, I went on to um, eBay, and I was selling some articles, and I got my money. It was terrific. I was very happy and pleased. In fact, I was so happy and pleased, I decided to sell my Mercedes on eBay. And he got a legitimate offer from California sent them a certified check and he shipped the car two weeks after the check came back now you say how can a certified check came back I'm telling you that's what he told me it came back now exactly the circumstances I don't know I just know that he was out thirty thousand dollars it was an older Mercedes but he's out thirty thousand bucks and they can't track it down now he's one of us and I'm telling you, there's other stories in our own industry of people that are getting taken on the Internet. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we can be um, God-fearing people, but do you lock your car in the parking lot when you go to worship or, or church? You know, you still have to be careful, okay? And you have to protect. And you have to be careful of these things. And there's all kinds of other things going on. I cannot spend all the time here to tell you about it other than go to that website, icro.net slash security. That's one of the bad things that are kind of happening on the Internet nowadays. And there's a lot more to that, too, as well. Let me just close this page, too, so that we can start fresh here. Now, let's get underway. So you can see that being on the Internet over this many years, there's a lot of things that we've kind of learned. In 19... Uh, 94, I did a search on the internet for commercial real estate, and there was only 14 companies worldwide. ICI World was one of them. I'll be showing you in a minute how we're on the front page of Google today, and that's going to help each of you make money. But the reason I'm here today, it's literally to help make you money. How we do that is by getting you to benefit from the leads that you can get from people who are searching for real estate on the internet. If we can get those people to call you, it gives you an opportunity to make money. It's also to help you provide a great service to the public because we always say if you want the highest and the best price, you should go in all the major marketing mediums out there to try to get the highest and best price to get the most buyers. And it's also to establish and maintain you as the leaders in the information business. 
I can show you now where there's a lot of for sale by owner websites where people are selling the properties themselves for property guys and FISBO uh, places. But when they put their information on the marketplace, they have one website that they're putting it on. But after I show you some of the tools today, your information will be on 1,000 other brokers' websites if you want to allow it to happen. And we have a network of 1,000 brokers who are allowing their listings to be on your website. So when you post one listing on ICI World, it's on another 1,000 brokers' website. Every broker is spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to promote their website. And so that's tremendous penetration of the marketplace that a FISBO site can't do. And there's special ways that you can work FISBOs uh, to try to get um, people to sell that property. So please consider ICI World, myself, as a personal marketing and information assistant to you personally. Instead of me choosing to sell real estate, I have chosen to become an assistant to each and every one of you, an educator to help you take advantage of the Internet. I'm specializing, just like you might specialize in shopping centers, apartment buildings, hotels, motels, whatever you might specialize, residential in a certain area. I chose to specialize in the Internet, bringing the Internet to you. And that's another story. I can write a little book on it, but uh, let's just move on in the essence of time. In 1994, there was actually, in 1995, there's less than 2% of the people using the Internet. Today, I think that figure is even higher. 77% of consumers now begin their search for real estate online. Anybody know what NAR stands for? National Association of Realtors. There's over 1.5 million real estate people registered at the National Association of Realtors in the United States. The NAR is located on North Michigan Way in Chicago. Everyone in this room is a Realtor. The term Realtor is licensed to the Canadian Real Estate Association from NAR. That's where you get the term Realtor from, National Association of Realtors. It comes from that association. They license it to Canada, and that's how you all get that term. The CCIMs, which I'm a part of, um, and you'll see on the left-hand side, of your worksheet, there's a document that says CCIM. See if you can find it. What is a CCIM? I think it's on the left-hand side. On the left-hand side, what is a CCIM? It stands for Certified Commercial Investment Member. It's a series of educational courses that lead to a designation. It's known as amongst the best uh, commercial real estate training for salespeople. I recommend absolutely everyone make sure you get into the CI and CI you should mark that down on your internet worksheet. What is a CCIM? Take CI 101 and take CI intro. Every single one of you should take it. It's on the left hand side. Maybe towards the back. What is a CCIM? That's what it says. We meet at the Toronto Convention uh, Toronto, Toronto Real Estate Board. Um, we have uh, several meetings a year. Watch what goes on. You can mark this website address down on your internet worksheet, ccimcanada.com. ccimcanada.com. Make sure you write that down. You can come to some of the meetings. With a membership of $120 a year, we're talking about having all of the meetings free. They used to be charged 60 to $80. We had a dramatic change in how we're charging for memberships now. For $120, you can join the chapter and come to meetings absolutely free. There's a final stamp of approval going through our board of directors to do that. So it's subject to that. And they're at the Toronto Real Estate Boards. You pick up two RICO credits each time you come. That's pretty darn good, you know just being a member of the chapter, and you stay plugged in to the commercial real estate in Ontario. Excellent speakers. Speakers from like Canadian Tire Corporation explaining how they're selling all their properties right across Canada, and you can bring them in a buyer. They were two years ago. That was a meeting from a couple of years ago that we had. And there's lots of other speakers that uh, you just go to the website and you can kind of learn about it. Now, the most important thing, this figure here, 96% of people are searching for listings. That becomes very important because you have a website. If you have no listings or just a few listings on your website, 
why should people call you? So I'm about to show you how you can have 15,000 listings on your website with one button, installation. And it's all the more important that people get to you right away because 74% of people, they choose the first broker or salesperson that they can develop a business relationship with. Now there's over 1.9 billion people on the internet and I'm going to show you the statistical analysis of that right now. Are going to say you can sell other brokers to our listings? Or, uh, That's correct. Other brokers have agreed. Every single listing on ICI World, there's a statement at the bottom of the listing. Will you allow your listings to be on other brokers' websites? Or real estate agents' On other real, real estate, estate brokers. Yeah, real estate. When I say brokers, I also mean salespeople. Okay. Okay. I also mean... And we have it structured in a way that only the, you can only see the listing heading, the subject line. You cannot see the contact name and number. They have to call you. I'll be showing it to you in a minute. Now, Internet users' latest data. Anybody see that figure there from the back? Can you see that? 1.9. Just about 2 billion people on the Internet using the Internet. And some people wonder why they're not doing business. Are you reaching these people? Our goal is to help you reach those people. And there are special tools that you can do. I attended a world search engine convention in Las Vegas last year at the Las Vegas Hilton Convention Center for one week. I spent $4,000 to go there to learn how to help each and every one of you get your websites to come up. How can you sell for a person in England or in Spain or an investor? I've got, if you start to read stories, you're going to see how Bruce Cook sold a $5 million apartment building to people from Europe. Ron Tomblum in Hamilton, Ontario sold a, sold a student housing to somebody from England. It's, it, and how they do it, though, how they do it is this. I'll tell you those two deals because they were unique and common to a lot of other brokers. Here's, no, actually, I'll show you. How, let me explain how it happened. The one person for the $5 million apartment building got a hold of Bruce and learned all about the building. He sent them an AACI appraisal, if you know what that is. It's a very high designation appraisal, so it's very good. You know, you can... Anyways, he sent them the complete package. The man was interested in it. So he made an offer subject to due diligence. Got the offer accepted. He had one month for due diligence. He flew over on the next plane and spent the next month checking out the property and removed the condition. Another one was from the United Kingdom. The man liked the property, but you know, in a picture, picture can be deceiving. It looks beautiful, and you get there and the paint's falling off, but in the picture it looked good. He had his father-in-law who lived in Oakville go look at the property. So those are the kind of things that are going on. A lot of people have family members or somebody that they know already in Canada. And they just send them maybe to kind of go look at the property. I'm sorry? What kind of law firms? Uh, I don't get into that. We cannot even trust. Well, I'm going to say... Well, I, I, don't, I don't open up that subject. We have a short period of time. I got so much material to cover. But maybe at another time we can talk. That might be good for a webinar someday online amongst a bunch of people. But I cannot cover subjects like that here today. I, I just haven't got the time. I, I hear you, but um, I think you should use your local documents, but that's a legal question in any event. And I'm not qualified to answer legal questions, even though I kind of know about things as well. That's correct. That's correct. Well, you're trying to sell properties in another country? No, if a buyer buys a property in Ontario. Yes. How do you go around that? You know? How do you go around what? You use uh, all your forms from Ontario, don't you? You use all your forms from here. You, yeah. you abide by the laws in the province of Ontario. Or how long is the guy and that goes for Florida. If you're in Florida, that, that's why you're licensed in Ontario and not Florida. Yeah, but if you want to buy, let's say, in Vancouver, you've got a license. That's Vancouver. correct. How are we going to go around that? Usually you get a broker and you cooperate with a broker who's in Vancouver. In other words, you get them involved. You get a local broker involved in the transaction. That's one way to do it. 
There's other ways, but I can't handle it right now. I'm sorry. I would love to answer that, but I can't any, any further. Um, the question is now, what can brokers do about these 1.9 billion people? How can you have them reach you? Well, less than 10% of the money that companies and the salespeople are earmarking for advertising is being used for the Internet. And I have a question for each and every one of you. You have websites, but is there anybody in this room that has spent more than $25 on search engine optimization? Usually I don't get anybody. The odd time I get, the odd time I get one. That's right. But the point is, here you have these 1.9 billion people out there, and you're not hiring people like us to help you take advantage of the Internet. That's what I'm getting at. Um, where are you fishing, in the Atlantic Ocean or in the desert? Consumers today are getting sophisticated. There are things you can do to serve them. Generally speaking, a lot of the people using the Internet, they're higher educated, and they make faster decisions. Why do you think they make faster decisions? So time is a factor. Time is a factor. Where are they doing their research? Yeah. On the Internet. They got it all there. You want to know the crime statistic? Bing, bing, bing. They get the crime statistics. They get sales. They get all kinds of things through the Internet. In fact, when they finally see a property that they like, they've already done so much research on it, bingo, they can make a faster decision because they've been doing research on it. So the question is, how would you, like, how many in this room have shown one, prop, uh, one family five properties and they still haven't bought yet? How many people have shown more than 10 properties? How many more than 15 to the same family? How many more than 20? Okay, we have some workers. We have workers in this room. <laughs> and they find it good for you. Now, that's one thing about real estate people. If we want to really do something, we get our teeth in it, we're going to get it done sooner or later and help these people. Well, um, if you want these kind of people who make faster decisions, you, they, these people like to work with internet enabled real estate people. Now what does this, what does that mean? Somebody sees an ad and they call your office and looking for you, you're not in, so they take a message and they leave it for you. Two hours later you get the message, you call them back, but they've gone. So you leave a message for them. And so they finally get it and they call you back, leave a message, bingo, and you're gone. And you are going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Nothing happens. Another real estate person is in the middle of showing a property. And you could be in the rec room and you're showing a family some, a property. And the little Blackberry or the iPhone, it starts to vibrate. Starts to vibrate. Okay? And you look at it. And bingo, it's a text message that somebody wants to see a property tonight at 7 o'clock. You're in the middle and you say to the people that you're with, listen, do you mind? I just have to answer this one little text. And can you just help yourself just for a few minutes? Boom, you go in here and say, I'll get back to you in one hour and try to set it up tonight for 7. All within two minutes of them texting you. Because Internet people, they do this kind of stuff. Now... Um, so here you are compared to a person that's not doing this stuff. What are we really selling? Are we selling real estate or sure. rest my case? So you want to take advantage of these tools. But you have to develop an internet relationship with them. How? And you can do that with your website. If your website can send out new listings on a regular basis, that match the description of what people are looking for. Bingo, keep sending out the odd listing and all of a sudden two weeks from today they get a listing for 450,000 bucks in Mississauga that they've been looking for. And they give you a call and say, listen, I just got an email from your website. Can you show this property to, my, to me tonight at 7 o'clock? Now you tell me, isn't that 
a nice refreshing call that you would like to get. You can do that when it's set up properly. All the tools are here, but they're like tools, they're like glasses. I can't see, but people aren't picking up to use the tools. You've got to use the tools. And that's what we're doing, and we do these in webinar workshops. Today's webinar is what I call a presentation. This is a presentation. There's very little feedback, uh, although there's education in it. It's not like a website workshop where the whole, the whole webinar is all about back and forth, getting things to fix right before your very eyes. So you have to provide some services first to get them to raise their hand, ask a question, I'd like to see a property, etc. Majority and of homes and business today in Canada, you're very fortunate for a couple of reasons. Not only does everybody have the internet, high speed, but Canada has been selected for the last 10 years in the United Nations as one of the top one, two, three countries in the world in which to move to. So there's a lot of people coming here. As a matter of fact, the population of Canada would actually be going down if it wasn't for immigration. Approximately 250,000 people a year coming into Canada. You can get a portion of them coming into this community. There's a way to sell this community to the world. I'll be showing you that. Where are they coming from? They're not coming from England, from Europe. I hear you. There are families from all over trying to make a living. It, it's, it's okay. Feedback, I don't have a problem with. Here we go. You're going to see a program here. One of the problems that a lot of salespeople have had is they said, Gary, I'm fed up with the computer. I don't want anything to do with the computer anymore. I sit in front of the computer and I'm getting nothing but spam mail all day long. Even Bill Gates gets spam mail. How many people in this room get spam? Everybody. Okay. This is a program that you can stop spam instantly. Just mark it down. If you mark it down on your internet links worksheet and check this stuff out on your own time. It's about 40 bucks a year. I use it. Delete, delete, delete. Ugh, I can't believe how much spam I get. Are you overwhelmed by spam? Yes. I must get 100 every day and it's getting worse. Just when I think my filters are working and I can relax, I get attacked by a whole new wave. It's so frustrating. Filters are a temporary fix. They keep getting better, but spammers keep getting smarter. It's only it's in the Toronto Star. Spamarest. Spamarest? Yes, Spamarest. Spamarest blocks 100% of spam with a patented method of verifying contact sources, so spam can't find a way into your inbox. Not now, not ever. That sounds great. How does it work? When you receive an email from a new address or contact, Spamarest sends an automatic reply to make sure the email... The key thing here, people, I could go through any one of these programs and spend a half an hour here with you on just one program. I'm here to cover a whole bunch of programs. Just mark it down in your internet worksheet and go study it on your own time. You'll learn. This is not the only program. There's other little programs out there, Mail Frontier and, and some of these other ones, but that's the one that I happen to use. It can stop spam overnight and help you control your mail. Now, websites. I'm suggesting that you consider embracing the concept that websites are like billboards. That if you have more than one website generating leads for you, why not? Picture a billboard at the corner of Young and Dundas, downtown Toronto. And it's got your name and your company and details and everything and phone numbers and people are calling you. And you have another one maybe on up by the Scarborough Town Center someplace. And people, it's generating leads for you. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because we support all websites. Even though we also supply websites. Websites are, and uh, during the seminar, I, I, when we talk to brokers of record and real estate boards, we say, look, this is a $1,500 seminar that I do. Because we have people making big money sometimes by using these ideas. However, I do it free in returning for doing an eight-minute commercial. 
I'm going to do a six minute, maybe even just five minute commercial right now on my services. That's all I need to do. The rest is education, what I'm showing you. Okay? I'm going to do that little commercial right now, if you don't mind. You look on the left hand side and you're going to see an application. There should be an application there. And do you see, does anybody have it? You want to know something? I'm, is, it, is it on the left or the right? I thought it was the left side. Left side? Yeah, can I just see it for a second, please? I don't know what happened to mine. You'll see this application. Can everybody please bring it out? And if you look down at the bottom, you're going to see that it's a special of 240. We waive the $79 sign-up fee. You see that? Down at the bottom? You've got to find the, was it on the right or the left side, by the way? It was on the left side. Application special. Now, the third bullet on the white, on the right, says that websites are free three months. Third bullet, right there. They're free for three months, the third bullet right there. And then after that, how much are they? $20. Right, 20 bucks a month. Okay, most of our brokers do not pay the twenty dollars. Most of them pay the special of one ninety nine per year. So you can keep it at nineteen bucks a month if you want, or you can just give them one hundred ninety nine bucks, and that's covered for the whole year. This is a storefront on the internet. So think of yourself opening up a series of franchises, and you pick the name of the franchise. You can have one, two, three, four websites if you wanted to. Now, how do you evaluate it? Well. If you're getting leads from the website on a regular basis, that's good. You keep it going. If you're making thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, you can even upgrade websites and do other things. These are standard websites, but I'm going to show you how powerful they are in a moment. And the same features that we have on these websites, you can now save. Gee, I may, maybe I can use some of these features on my website. So we're going to help you with your website. Then there's an advantage because now you can link your websites together. That helps with search engine optimization coming up in the search engines of the world. There's advantages to do that. You can put a statement on one website that says, please feel free to visit my other website. And then on the other website, you say, please feel free to visit my other website. Now, when you hand out your business card, I'll give you this back. Thank you. When you hand out your business card, I'm looking for one that's got a website on it here. Uh, not, not the, uh, okay, so basically you have the one that Century 21 is supplying you, the page, the page that you have. Keep that. Nothing wrong with that. You can put these links on that page, okay? But you're going to see some fully functioning websites that got a lot of power, and you can link the two together. Now, we're suggesting that you have a domain name so that SarbjetDillon.com could become a domain name. That can be a domain name, okay? Kabir Sharma. That can be a domain name. Sebastian Caleri? Yeah. That could be a domain name. You give that name out to the people that know you, your prospects, your clients, your friends, your relatives, all those people that could be interested in residential or commercial real estate, say, visit my website. And you tell people when you hand out your card that you have two websites. So you only need to keep one name on your business card. Okay. You don't have to put all the domain names of all your websites. Just one, but tell them you've got three websites. Make sure you visit them all. They all have little features and benefits for you. And people will, when they're looking, they'll, they'll kind of check them all out. They're like a store. This is a store. If you have an empty store, you know, if you wanted to open up your own real estate office, it costs a lot of money. You know, a couple of grand, two, three, four, five grand a month. What you're trying to do is bring customers in. And here you have a chance to have that storefront on the internet where there's 1.9 billion people, and that's only 200 bucks a month. These websites used to be three to five thousand dollars. It's important to understand. A lot of people don't really understand the full workings of a website. That it's really a platform. It's a platform that holds content. Now, if somebody visits your website and you have residential and commercial listings. They have a good selection of properties that could interest them. And if the listings are structured in a way that you get the calls, you start to trigger the leads. In fact, 
brokers will start doing referrals like they never did before. Why? Because you can get calls on properties out of your market area, out of your expertise. Somebody might say, I'm interested in an apartment building in Brantford, and maybe you don't want to go there. So you say, they say, can you help me? You say, I certainly can help you. I will have someone call you back. You get a hold of the other broker who's got that listing and say, I have a lead for you. Is a 25% referral commission okay with you? That is a five-minute phone call. It's averaging three to $10,000. The best one I know of is Ted Davis, Remax, and Peterborough has done 15 of those over a six-month period. That's 75 minutes of his time, if it's five minutes each. He made $45,000 just doing referrals. How did he do that? He was selling real estate. His wife, they had a baby. He stayed home to look after the baby. His wife was an accountant. She went to work. And he worked referrals working right from home. And that's how he was the one. He had the whole thing working, and he did, he did referrals right from home. So it's the content that develops interest. It's an electronic relationship that can lead to doing business. Now, people know you're paid on commission. Many people do feel threatened. And also, this, the president of the National Association of Realtors, all in Dalton, he's a past president, he made a statement that 84% of consumers want color photos, multiple photos, slideshow displays. It's so utterly simple to deliver and never has in the history has such a simple request been so collectively ignored and suppressed. So here you are making eight to $10,000 commission on the sale of a property or 5,000 whatever, and you don't have color photos on the internet of that person's property? You know, who might that person want to choose to do that? And some of these physical websites are doing a heck of a job. So it's a very reasonable request to have more pictures for your, commercial, uh, for your commission dollars. Now, to sum it up, for residential brokers, having a website with thousands of residential homes is important, all in a way that you get the calls. For commercial brokers, um, now that you have a website, you can add the number one thing that everyone on the Internet is looking for, and that is commercial real estate, what we, I'm calling it haves and wants. This is information in the marketplace, not just listings such as you find on a real estate board. And if you always remember that, 96% are searching for listings. You're going to have a major world source with new listings coming into your website every single day, 50 to 100 new listings a day coming in on your website. Now, let's see if we can look at web websites. I've got a special page here coming up where I have made a list. There we go. Let's see if, nope, that's not it. There we go. Okay. Here's some sample websites. These are all websites created through ICI World that you see here. All right? They're all different kind of looks. They're all Century 21s. But let's look at what's common what is the most important thing about some of these websites. And we're just going to start with this one here. It's not really the design that I'm talking to you about. It's the links. It's the links that make you money, these things right here. And I'm going to take the first one right here in the essence of time and click on it. And you're going to see a gray page come up. And there's a statement here. Now, can you read this statement, that statement right there? We subscribe to a global commercial real estate broker center of haves and wants. When any of the following interest you or you wish to place your haves and wants for internet worldwide exposure, please feel free to give me a call. So it lets people know that you're part of a world broker commercial center. Now, when people come down this page just a little bit, they're going to see haves and wants. Let's just go down here a bit. So if they're interested in any one of these things, say they're interested in apartment buildings and they happen to click on it, you're going to see it's chugging away down here. It usually takes an average access time of 4.9 seconds. Here it came up a little quicker. Sometimes it's a little longer. Just wait, whatever you do. And you're going to see over 1,000 apartment buildings come up on your website 
from $29 million on down. If I go down the page, people can go down to the bottom and they can pick any one of these. Now, here's one here, Toronto building with, uh, this, this one actually has three retail stores and four huge apartments near the beach. And if you notice, I can't click on it. People, I would jump up and down to make sure you don't hit your head. That's one of the most exciting things for real estate brokers, because I've been a broker too, is the fact that now you've got listings that can trigger leads for you. It becomes absolutely inevitable for you to get leads off the internet as long as two things are true. Number one, you have what I call no material defects in your membership. There's 10 potential material defects. And number two, you have traffic coming to your website. If you have no traffic going to your website, you're still not going to get leads, even if you've got this. You've got to get people to go to your website. You've got to have a domain name on your business card, easy to remember. You've got to be handing out your cards every day. I would double the boxes of cards that you have. Now, there's two ways to hand out a business card. I'm going to demonstrate. You tell me which one is more powerful, which one's going to generate more business for you starting today for the rest of your life. If you're in a restaurant, you're talking to the owner of the restaurant. And as you're leaving and you pay and you say, thank you very much, that was a good meal. I'll be coming back with my wife again someday. Um, in the meantime, I happen to be at Century 21. If you're ever thinking of buying any commercial real estate, feel free to let me know. Here's my card and I have a nice website. That's way number one. Now we're going to do way number two. Thank you very much. You just finished paying for the meal. Thank you very much for the meal. It was very good. We'll be coming back. I like the service. My wife and I, I like the food. And by the way, if you're ever thinking of buying or selling a restaurant, you or your colleagues, I have over 200 restaurants on my website. My website address is here. I also have maybe you or your colleagues or maybe friends or relatives that you know of, business acquaintance. They might even be looking to buy or sell a restaurant. Make sure you send them to our website. 80% of our listings that are on the website are not on real estate boards. And we have uh, color photos of homes, thousands of homes with color photos, slideshow displays. You can see all of that absolutely free. Power of sales on our website. Which way do you think will generate more leads for you the rest of your life? Way number one or way number two? Way number two. Why? Yeah, you captured their imagination with power of sales and you told them you got 200 restaurants on your website, buyers and sellers. All of a sudden they say, oh, that sounds interesting. Let's say you're talking to a builder. Does anybody here work with builders? Anybody? Okay, you got time? What are they looking for all the time? Land, lots. You bet. What if you said, go to my website, and I have over 600 pieces of development land on my website. Infill sites, draft plan approved lots, land ready to go, services to the lot line, three to five years away, I got it all. It's on my website. How many pieces? I think there's over 600 here. So it's important for you to maybe learn how many pieces of these land and shopping centers, apartment buildings and businesses that you have on your website. How many are there? 690 from $80 million on down. Isn't that interesting? On your website. Question. Yes. No, you say you're part of a world brokers network. And, and all of this information is in the industry. If you're interested in any one of them, I can follow up and get you the information. If you have that kind of a problem, you've got to try to overcome it. Okay? If you have a legitimate buyer and they don't want to cooperate with you, most of the brokers on our network do cooperate. If they say they don't want to cooperate, then they shouldn't have let the listings go on other brokers' website. At the bottom of the listing, when they add the listing in there, it says, will you allow your listings to be advertised on other brokers' websites? You're going to advertise and then not cooperate? It doesn't make sense. Okay. I'll call them up. I will call them up on your behalf and say, answer no down there. If you don't want another broker calling you, answer no. And 
Mm -hmm. Okay, part of the reason they're doing that, when you deal in this market, the problem is, have you ever had somebody go behind your back? Anybody here in this room? All the time. Everybody's had it happen. That's why. Now, if you come and you talk to me face to face, eyeball to eyeball, I can see if you have integrity, if I can trust you to work with me on this deal. That's part of the reason they're asking to do that. And sometimes they don't care anymore. You either like it or you don't. If you want to take the time, go sit down and have a cup of coffee to try to make a $30,000 commission, or you just want them to send you the whole package over the phone, and they're going to trust that you're going to go through them, it's not going to happen. you got to overcome these things by developing good business relationships with these people. Some people just want you to, to, to send all the information to you and trust that you're going to go do it. You know what it's like? If there's a $50,000 commission, it's like having $50,000 in the bank. Would you leave the bank vault open with a little crack so people can get in? Another problem. Somebody has maybe a franchise for sale in a small city. And they name the franchise, Pizza Pizza, or I don't care what kind of franchise it is, Sandwich Sub or whatever. And they name the city. When you're dealing with 1.9 billion people, that's an ocean of people worldwide, right? In the ocean, they're sharks. And the sharks will go right around you so fast. Talk to the owner and say, I know you got an MLS listing. When does it expire? Do you mind me asking? If it's okay with you, I'll give you a call after it's expired. They can go right around behind your back. So a lot of people are demanding that you meet with them so that they can see if they can build up some integrity. One of the reasons I brought up the CCIM chapter, that's a way to come to a meeting every month and you see the same people over and over. If you're going to see the same one over and over and over, maybe there's a little less chance you're going to go around behind his back because he can tell everybody else in the chapter what you just did. You know, and that'll cut you off. That'll blackball you from doing any more commercial real estate. So part of that is some of the problems. But anyways, um, I'm just covering it, letting you know there's ways to be doing this kind of business. When people come to your website and you tell them I got restaurants on my website, look at that. You got other cities in Ontario, you got power of sales, bingo, they can, you click on that and up comes power of sales. So you got power of sales from your website too. There they are. There's 38 of them right there. Scarborough. An auto mechanic garage, power of sale, right there, 579000 bucks. There's three lots, custom houses, power of sale, calling all builders. What's this say right here, people? Not on MLS. Now, you have the best of both worlds. We have some people who sometimes want to buy, and I see this one here. Somebody wants a property in Markham or Durham. You can sometimes work with buyers and then go to the Trauma Real Estate Board and find the property. It works together with it, too. It works hand in hand. You're just looking for buyers. Three weeks ago, I attended a World Search Engine Convention. A lot of people don't uh, know this, but I'm going to just see if I can do it quick. What page am I on here? Oh, you're going to see that we have two databases here. See Search Database 1 free and Search Database 2? If I click on search database one free, there's ways that you can do sophisticated searches such as the advanced method. Are we, we're in Markham here? Or Scarborough? Okay, so let me just type in Scarborough. I can just type in Scarborough and just to see what's in here, just for fun. Now this will be both buyers and sellers. You'll see different people advertising buyers and sellers for this, that, and the other thing. If you've got a gas station, call them up and go show the property. If you have a showing today, you have a chance to make money today. If you don't have a showing today, you're not making any money. So this helps you get showings. You put what your buyers are looking for. If you don't put your information on ICI World, I say you're a secret agent because you've got the information, but you're not putting what your buyers are looking for out there. You're the only one that knows. You make a few calls. Let me show you another reason why that's important. 
Say somebody who's looking for something goes to Google, and let's say they type in three words. Commercial real estate. How many results come up on the page? 134 what? Million. Now, you'll see Barnicky here. You'll see, oh, what's this company here? Anybody recognize that? Yeah. Now, here's what's exciting for you. People knowing absolutely nothing about you, they click on, maybe, they're going to click on everybody on the first page. Is that a fair statement? They're, they're going to go through everybody on this first page, right? But, I mean, you don't work for Collier's or Avis and Young or some of these other people. So it's hard to get here. Believe me, it's not easy, okay? <laughs> but I'm going to click on this. <clears throat> and up comes ICI World. Chances are, <clears throat> if people are searching in Scarborough for something, what are they going to click on? Canada. <clears throat> Second click. And if they come here and see this, what do you think they click next? Ontario. Ontario. Now if they come here and see that, there's a number of things they can click on. They can click on search Ontario haves and wants and lays out all the haves and wants in Ontario by type right away. So if they want a shopping center, they just click on shopping center. Or what they might do, they might click on search by city. By the way, does anybody here have a business for sale or a buyer for a business? Anybody? What kind of buyer? Uh, for what kind of business? Car wash. A car wash. Okay, let's just start with that. Okay. You have a buyer for a car wash. Let's pretend somebody's on the internet and they're looking for car washes. Okay, and you have a car wash for sale? You have a buyer? Who's got something for sale, a business? What kind of A what? A gas? Gas. Oh, a cash shop. Oh, okay. What else? Fast food. So it's like a fast food. Okay. So let's say somebody's looking for a fast food or even a car wash. They could click on what here. It says find any kind of business within five seconds. Bingo, I click on that. And all of a sudden, you get all of these key words, and you're going to see down here, fast food, deli, meats, catering, sandwiches, subways, etc. So if I clicked on, say, food, what's going to come up, you'll see it chugging away here, because it's a world database. This database, by the way, is located in San Jose, California. <laughs> and look how fast it's coming up. The reason it's located there it's because Asia and Europe, all the, all the major trunks of the world come together closest in that one spot in the whole world, in near San Jose, California. And you're going to see all of the food businesses coming up here right away. Now, you tell me if that isn't fantastic. Now, if you have your listing right here on this page, they pick up the phone and they call you just like that. Within four clicks... 30 seconds, bingo, they can find you. If you don't have it here, that's why I sometimes jokingly say you're a secret agent. If we go down here and we want to search, say, car washes just for fun, bingo, click on that. Again, you'll see it chugging away down here. You're going to see car washes come up. More than 80% of them, I think, are not on real estate boards. They're not on boards. And so if your information is here, they give you a call. It can be that fast. I have a question. Yes? Can be I'm sorry? Can no. Be no. That's a good question. Thank you for asking that. Only licensed state salespeople like yourselves can be members of the service. The public cannot join. Here's what the public can do. Can I show you? Watch this. I'm going to go right back to our main site. You're going to see on the left-hand side, what does this say right there? Anybody? That's a free ad. 
When a person puts in a free ad, database number two is correct. Can you see that number two there? Now, if I want to search database two, you'll see how you can search two database. I'm going to click on search database two now. And I'm going to click on Ontario on the left-hand side. And what's going to come up is a list of properties and buyers and sellers from the public. This is from the public. You tell me if that isn't fantastic. Now, if you notice, you cannot click on those numbers. Those numbers are not hypertext. You can't click on them. So if the public wants to see one of those, they have to contact one of you as a member. That's the way it works. So we suggest when we get calls in the office, somebody wants information, we say you've got to develop a business relationship with one of the salespeople that are on the office or on the, on the system. Now, let's go into this. See where it says here, a member access to FISBO area? You are going to get full access to this when you're a member. So by the number of areas, I'm going to click on it. Now I'm going to click on the same Ontario that I just clicked on a minute ago. And this time you're going to notice <clears throat> that the listings are they're still chugging away down here, if you notice. By the way, I'm going to see if I have, I'm going to see, I'm going to unmute uh, Benny here for a second. Okay, Benny, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Oh, thank you so much, Benny. I had you muted um, up until now because if there's any noise, I just muted out just for the keep the meeting going properly here. And that was good. Too. And mm -hmm. so it's so nice that you've been with us the whole time. You've been able to follow everything we've been doing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing software. Just amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we only got this like about three, four months in uh, July. Uh, so it's something new for us too. And we're learning how to use it. You know, it's tricky to make all of this stuff all work. Believe me, getting the right little speakers and microphones and all that stuff back and forth to Best Buy and Future Shop and everybody else trying to figure out how to do it. But you're going to notice that these numbers, you can click on these numbers. And so if I was to see some of these down here, look at, look at them all. Is there any here that interests anybody right now, even in the front row here? These are actual buyers and sellers. Which one interests you? Just give me the number. Okay, let's do it. If you want, I'll click on have 26 unit apartment bill. Here we go. I'm clicking on it. Up comes the message. And guess what, people? <clears throat> Look at that. You see, the public loves the Internet. They want to take advantage of what's going out there on the Internet. They're able to post information free. And, as, and so the people that learn about ICI World, they, a lot of them are putting their information right there. So if you have a buyer for something like that, I'd give them a call. Because when you do, that's a double ender. A lot of our members are reporting. If you read the testimonials, they're doing double enders right out of FISBO database number two. You do it the same way. I'm going to come up to three questions, and I'm going to hold that for a moment. I'm going to answer that specific question shortly. And it leads right into it, so nicely for answering. I, uh, question, I like that. Now, look at these. Wanted, apartment building. If anybody here is short of buyers, now, if you have a, a property, even if it's on MLS, see these people here wanted, uh, I don't know, wanted Toronto to Burling apartments from 300 to a million dollars. Okay? Right up to Barry, maybe even Sudbury. See that one right there? I wouldn't call that buyer until you had an apartment building to call them up and talk to them about. Don't waste the time. Okay, don't just, you know, try to say come into my office and sign a bright buyer broker's agreement. You know, have something available that is of interest when you call them. And talk to them about it and start to develop them as a buyer. Okay? And next thing you know, they might want to go see it on Saturday. Next thing you know, they say, geez, everything looks good. Let's make an offer. 
Next thing you know, you're collecting a commission check because of this. Now, you will see some stars beside some of these. These stars, these listings here have been placed by brokers who are not members of our service. We allow them to do that. Why? Because if you, as a member, are able to get together with one of those people and make $30,000, then it was a benefit to you to find out about that property. Secondly, we're not giving anything away because the public cannot click on these listings. They can't do it. The only reason we can is because I'm logged in. And thirdly, these listings can also be on your website in a way that triggers leads for you. A couple of questions. Go ahead. Okay, absolutely. Yes, let me just go back here. Um, oh, by a non-member? Okay, let's just go. I don't know. There's 300 acres on two private lakes or something. Just click on that one there. Go down on the bottom. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, open up your sheets right now, people. You're going to see a have and a want sheet on the left-hand side. Pull it out right now, please. A have and a want sheet. There they are. They look like this. These are the babies that are going to make you money this year. And if you don't, you're awfully unlucky, I'll tell you that. Having a want sheet. Make sure you find it. You, every person in this room, should have 10 of each of these on your desk all the time, ready and raring to go, ready to write something in. Now watch this. Here's the reason why. Remember I said I'm your assistant. I'll sit in your office. I can sit across from you in your office and watch and just listen and consult with you and see how you answer the phone all day long and what you do and what you do on the phone. And somebody calls you and it says, I'm interested in that ad that you had in the paper. And so you tell them about it and say, well, it doesn't really suit what I'm looking for. Thanks anyways. And just before they say goodbye, what do you say? Yeah? 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 That's right. And, and if I happen to have another property that interests you in the price range of what you're looking for, is it okay if I call you back or are you working with someone else? They say, no, you can call me back if you have something. So uh, right away, you pull out one of these. What is it? A want sheet. Now, let's say you don't pull out the want sheet. What you do is you say, what do you look for? And you write the details down and you scribble on a piece of paper right away. And then you've got their name and number and what they're looking for. Now, you got this piece of paper. What do you do with it? Put it somewhere. That's right. <laughs> put it right there or put it up there and put it down there. Or maybe you're getting good, so you type it into your computer someplace where it just sits. Doing Absolutely nothing. Or maybe that little piece of paper, the way I look at it, if I'm a consultant for each and every one of you, to me that little piece of paper could be like this, it could fall on the floor. I call that diamonds on the floor. Diamonds on the floor in a broker's office. I use the term broker and salespeople interchangeably. Why do I say that? Well, if you could take this want and put it on the internet, on a major service like I say, our world that specializes in this, somebody can spot it. It happened for a lady on our system, a Remax lady. She put a want on for a 20 to $100 million office building. It could have been you, I'm not kidding. And an owner called her from New York they had properties in New York. She called her buyer, who was out west, and he says, yeah, I'm interested. Do you have a legitimate buildings? And the other building said, do you have a legitimate buyer with real money? She got that all out of the way, handled that. They, he picked her up on his way to Toronto, went right to New York, and looked at buildings in downtown New York City. The gentleman from out west that, had, that was the buyer, he was looking to buy office buildings from 20 to $100 million. 
They went to New York and they looked there for a week and they bombed out. They didn't find anything. It just didn't suit what he wanted. Oh. Dropped her back in Toronto, went back out west. Two months later, a mortgage broker called her and says, do you really have a legitimate buyer? And she told him the whole story, what she went through. And he says, okay, there's somebody here in Toronto who has a $60 million office house. Three of them. I'll talk to the owner. It was a mortgage broker that called her. A mortgage, that a mortgage broker called her who knew about yeah. these three office towers but in Toronto. But how do you get a hold of a woman? Are you She's advertising it wanted. Well, he, went to the... he called her just right. He saw her want on the internet right on ICI World. Yeah. Everybody's getting on it. There's 50,000 people on a regular basis going to ICI World. There's 10,000 emails going out every single day. There's 50 to 100 new listings a day. Well, there's a lot of action. So anyways, eight months later, the deal closed and she made $200,000. Actually, they kicked out one of the office buildings. It was $75 million and they bought the two that were left for $55 million. Rough figures. She also was a speaker at one of our CCIM sessions and she talked about this, you know some of these things. And now she deals in all this kind of property on a regular basis because she's got a little bit of chutzpah and confidence and uh, she's got, in, got into the CCIM organization. And that's why each of one of you need the CI 101. You've got to mark that course down, people. If you don't mark it down, you're missing out. It helps you analyze the before and after tax implications of investing in any income producing real estate. I don't care if it's a triplex, a $1 million office building, a $10 million shopping center, a $30 million office building, or a regional center. You get into CI 101, CCIM course. It's going to help you become more professional in your life. Get into the CI intro course. That's even before the CI 101. That was just put on at Ryerson just two weeks ago, downtown Toronto, at the, at the uh, Ted Rogers School of Business. It was all advertised on I Say World. Okay, we had 20 people. Huh? Yeah, it was $385, and it had 12 RICO credits. Okay, so, uh, and, but it'll help you literally the rest of your life. So, <clears throat> there's a list of buyers. Bingo, you can start working on right now. And there's lots of other places that you can also get buyers. Now, remember I mentioned before, and I'm going to ask everybody a question here. How many people in this room have ever had it said that... Uh, you're talking to an owner of a property who says, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to sell my property, um, but I, I don't want to give you a listing. But I'll pay you a commission. How many people in this room? I want to see solid hands. I get excited. Right now, you don't know how excited I am because this service was actually built to help each and every one of you. Now, how do you handle that kind of information? I'm going to show you, uh, let me see, I'm going to have to end up going back through this. Am I going to do this? I'm going to try. Hang on, people. I'm going to suggest you mark down these three questions. They're going to become the most valuable questions you can use in real estate. No, keep writing down on that, uh, on, uh, no, on the sheet, the uh, internet worksheet. It's a worksheet. Scribble any place you want on the worksheet. These three questions <clears throat> we have been using as smooth as a baby clone for the last 50, 20 years. <clears throat> it's how to handle open and exclusive listings and for sale by owners. So somebody says, I want to sell my restaurant, but I don't want to give you a listing, but you bring me in a buyer, I'll pay you a commission. The first question is, will they pay a commission and then you negotiate it. Now, does anybody here have any problems? No. Everybody, that's what we do for a living. That's how, if you don't ask that, you need that question asked all the time. That's how you've got to keep your family supported and pay all your expenses. The next question is this. Once you get a buyer, once you have a buyer, will they cover you with a 48-hour exclusive listing?
So what does that mean? What it means is this. Even though you can advertise open and exclusive listings on ICI World, it does not mean that you don't put an agreement in place first before showing the property or before divulging the address of the property to someone. If somebody asks, okay, let's go to the third one. It's two parts, each part absolutely essential. Somebody asks the first part and gets a no, you're not going to make money in real estate. But if you ask both parts, you have a better chance. You ask the people, is it okay to advertise the property? But you're going to do it without the address. If you don't get that exactly right, those three things there, let's talk about it. There's a restaurant owner. It's a big restaurant not far from here, Markham Station. Who owns it? Anybody know? I had breakfast there this morning. Markham Station? It's a breakfast place, 24 hours? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody owns it, right? So you have breakfast there. Oh, by the way, is the owner around? Can I say hello to him? So she calls him out of the back. Maybe he's the chef. I don't know. Maybe he's not there. Maybe it's a corporation. Anyways, and you say, by the way, I happen to be in real estate. And if you're ever thinking of buying or selling a restaurant, let me know. I've got over 200 buyers and sellers on my website for restaurants. He says, as a matter of fact, bring me in 150000 bucks. Take it away. Here's the keys. <laughs> That's what could happen. You never know. So you ask them three questions. What are they? What are the three questions? Will pay a commission and then negotiate. What percentage? 450 grand for a restaurant. How much? What percentage? Five percent. Five? Ten? You got the idea. You got the idea. You negotiate it, okay? Second question, will he cover you? And then he says yes to everything, okay? But then he says, oh no, I don't want my restaurant advertised on the internet. That's bad for business. My employees might start leaving. No, it's bad for business. Forget it. How do you handle it? Well, so it's good for you because you're going to get a quick buyer, pay the money. I don't want my restaurant advertised on the internet. Forget it. That's right. He's got it, you got it, and you got it. Without the address. That's why I said it's absolutely critical. People, you miss one item in this thing here, you miss out. I can't tell you how important these three questions are exactly the way they're worded. Now, he says, I don't want to do it. And you say, look, this is what the ad's going to say. It's going to say, uh, Markham Restaurant, $450,000, making money. That's it. Good location, high traffic. Nothing else. And when he sees that, he's going to say, well, hey, that could be any restaurant, right? Okay, go ahead. If that's what you need to get me a buyer, I agree. Bingo, you put it on ICI World. <clears throat> there was a fellow driving in Scarborough. He saw a sign on a building, 55,000 square foot. It was an industrial building. He called him up on the phone. He got the details, the square footage, the loading dock stores, and ceiling height, whatever. And then he asked them those three questions. He got the okay. He put it on ICI World. Two weeks later, he got a buyer calling him. Through and it was a broker, the buyer. They got together with the broker. He called him up. He asked him for the address. Would you give it to him? Good. What he says was, listen, if you want, I'll get together with you over lunch. I'll give you all the details, but. I have to put an agreement in place first before showing you the property or before divulging the address of the property to you. I don't know if anyone here has probably not been to Lake Tahoe. You've heard of it. Okay. Beautiful mountains, skiing at the top and go down and go boating in the same day. It's beautiful. Lots, lots of movie stars. They saw a lot of property this way over there. Just like what I'm telling you. <laughs> so 
He says, I'll get together with you at lunch. They met at a Tim Hortons. He gave him all the details. Then he made an appointment to come to his office on a Saturday morning. He made arrangements to show it, covered himself with a showing. Afterward, says Gary, they made an offer. After they saw it, I spent a total of two hours work on this, and I made $50,000. That started from one piece of one open listing piece of information. Now, I say, if you drive by in this area ever again, and you see a for sale by owner sign, brokers protect, just anything like that, and you don't call those people, in my opinion, those are like cherries on a tree to all our members. What's the worst that can happen? You call them on the phone? They hung up. Believe it or not, I can't believe it. Some of the guys do. I tried calling the other one, uh, a guy the other day. You tell him where you're from. Ah, not interested. Not interested. I didn't even say anything. I didn't even say anything. Anyways. So some, sometimes they will. What would you do? I'd call him back again. How do you know? One guy called somebody in our private physical area. He had a, a hotel for sale in Niagara Falls, a principal. He said, Gary, I called that guy 25 times, and he never returned my phone call once. And I says, I don't know. Let me call him, because I happen to have known the guy, because I helped him put his listing on. Somehow I got through to him. And I asked them, I says, you know, I've got salespeople on our service who have a buyer for your kind of hotel. And they said they've been leaving lots of messages and you haven't been getting back to them. He says, Gary, I'll tell you what happened. Every day I get 25 calls a day from real estate people calling me all the time. I'm in the middle of buying another property. I haven't got time for this. I asked him which property. He says the Skylon Tower. He bought the Skylon Tower. He was on our service selling his old hotel and he was buying the Skylon Tower and there's 25 salespeople a day trying to call him. Now if you really want to deal with him and sell his property in Niagara Falls, what should you do? Hmm? Yeah, you got it. This business is still about one of dealing directly with people. It's still one of developing business relationships. The internet can give you somebody that might be interested, but then you've got other hurdles to overcome. And if you want to do commercial real estate and you can't even overcome the first hurdle for anything, learn how to overcome every hurdle and get through to that buyer. Somebody doesn't want to deal with you, go meet with them. Somebody said principles only, they only will deal with here. The one guy went and met with the guy anyways. He was a salesperson. He says, look it, my buyer will pay my commission. You don't have to pay me a cent. He got a buyer broker's agreement. And so he talked to the principal about this one guy, and the principal says, go ahead, let him see it. Bingo, he did it, even though, and it was to a real estate guy, even though it said principals only. So you've got to overcome some of these things in the business. Those three questions, absolutely essential. Now, let's go, uh, hang on. Okay. Let's just look at the power of this website for residential. Uh, here we go. Now, some people say, Gary, where the heck did it go? Okay, here we go. Let's just click on any one of these. Because this, has anybody here ever heard of point two? Down here. Okay. Point Two is a company out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. They've helped create over 200,000 real estate websites for professionals like yourselves in North America. And ICI World has become an official distributor of these websites, which are how much? Anybody remember? Free for three months, and then, and then basically 20 bucks a month. Okay. If you want to keep it, you don't have to keep them. But I'll tell you now, everybody's keeping them because you can, they can make you money. But you've got to get them up and running. Well, you work with me and I'll even, because I'm an official distributor, we'll kind of set you up and I might try to get you the three months free again. Okay, because a lot of people have never used them properly. But until they get with us. Once you get into my webinar, bingo, we'll get that website working good for you. And so, you get this website. 
and you're going to notice that there is, he's got GTA condos for sale. That's a special button that we set up for him. Let's see if it's working. There it is. So here you have condos on your website, even new construction ones. Look at this. And you tell me if this isn't part of the ultimate in marketing on the Internet, on your website. And you can have it working by later on this week, 24 or 48 hours. You've got this working. The only other extra cost you're going to have with us is your own domain name. You need a domain name for this site. You need a domain name for your other sites. You're going to. You already have a website. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You're going to have this website, but you should have your own domain name. Question for you. Uh, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Question, Benny. Yes, Benny. Okay, do you guys update the website on a regular basis or we have to update on our own? First of all, if we there's have thousand. To... Okay, first of all, um, there's 200,000 people in this network and everyone is putting on their own properties themselves. Okay? If I was to click yes, on this one home, for instance, this each, there's private people again are not allowed on here. This is for agents only. Yeah. These websites are designed for licensed real estate brokers and salespeople. Using these. Oh, yeah. They're powerful websites. You'll see how they're being displayed. You enter your own listings on here. Now, here's what's interesting. I'm going to go back here. And what does this say right here? What does that say? That says MLS right there. What does this one say? MLS. What does this one say? Exactly. So in other words, you can put your exclusive listings on here. Other brokers can put their exclusive listings on here. It's just an advertising service. Well, a lot of things, a lot of things fall, a lot of things fall under exclusive, don't they? But you so can see. how much time it uh, go ahead, Benny. On average, how much time does it take to upload a listing? Well, how many listings do you have? You know, if you once the first listing will take you maybe 10 or 15 minutes. The second one maybe 10 minutes. The third one maybe five minutes. Once you know how to do it. The nice thing about it, it's going to stay on your website. Now, here's the beautiful thing. Some com commercial brokers ask me, why do I need residential listings on my website? And residential brokers say, why do I need commercial listings on my website? Well, if somebody comes to your website to look for a residential real estate, some of these people that buy commercial properties from million-dollar shopping centers, they also own a million-dollar home. They, they're buying and selling real estate all the time, too. So why not have both? Now, if you're a residential agent, you can have your home searches up near the top here and put your commercial down further. If you're a commercial agent, you can put your commercial buttons up higher. Now, here's a person who specializes more in residential property. So, Toronto Condos is right up at the top. And when you click on it, now, here's some of the important information that should be known here. When I go down here and see these properties, let's say I click on this one here, just for the sake of argument. If I was to see an address right here, which is what happens, what I see on some brokers, and in fact, a lot of people who are not with us, the address of that property shows. 90% of the people that have the Point .2 website have the addresses showing. 90%. But the ones on ICI World, I tell them about that, I still keep finding some with addresses. But it's up to our membership to get into the webinars to learn about this. I do the webinars every single day from 11 to 1 o'clock. Every day. But do you archive them and you can watch them later? So Say that again? Do you archive them so that... Archive what? The webinars like... like we have video. webinars on video. As a matter of fact, one of the first videos that you see is a prerequisite. You got to see the video. It's 60 minutes long. It's an overview of our services. Just like today's uh, session is actually being uh, recorded as well. I'll try to put that online for you. 
But if the address is showing on one of these properties, okay, my question, in fact, there's even commercial properties here. Let me just show you. I'm going to show you. And here's, here's the problem. Let's say that I, I click on one of these ads here. And let's say that the address is showing, whether it's this one, whether it's a residential property, it doesn't matter. If a customer visits your website, in fact, I have even another bunch of websites here. Let me see if I can find them where they are. Here they are. Okay. I'm just going to just find uh, GTA Collin, Brampton Homes, Mississauga Homes, Durham, Durham Homes, Residential. Okay, so you can see even out-of-town property. So how you make the homes look, it's up to you. But let's say I click on one of these. And if the address is showing, do you think the customer might call you first, or do you think they might drive by the property first? Let's put it this way. You have, you have a $25,000 commission at stake. Do you want to take a chance? I'm suggesting to you, and most salespeople say, chances are that people might try, try to drive by the property first before calling you. And if they drive by the property, they're going to see the for sale sign of the other broker. And they'll probably call that person because they think they might get a better deal for some reason. And if they call the other broker and they end up doing a deal with the other broker, you were the ones that triggered the call from your website and the other broker doesn't even call you back to say thank you because he doesn't even know. So I'm suggesting I call that on ICI World, we call that a material defect in your membership. So we have a pledge. The pledge is this, that everyone on our service should be either making money every 90 days or at the very least developing good business relationships with people that you feel will lead to doing deals or you call us and get into a webinar workshop and let us look over your membership and find out what you're missing. If you're not getting leads, there's something wrong. You either have a material defect in your membership, addresses showing something, or you have no traffic going to your website. If you have no traffic going to your website, you get into our webinars. A webinar, how to promote your website, is once a month. I'm going to show them to you. You click on iciworld.net, you click on login member management, and right here, we just put it up special. You click on daily webinar workshops, and then you're going to see schedule come up. Here it is, schedule. Bingo, and you come down here, and there's upcoming webinars. And you'll see there's different ones. Information tune-up, that's coming up on this Wednesday. The other workshops, we get your, your website. We actually bring it up right on the screen and actually modify it right before your very eyes. How to promote your website. There it is there. When is it? The next one? January 12th. Okay, just like we're doing with Benny right now. All right, to sum up. Oopsie, to sum up, we have a special here. Um, the special is this. We waive the $79 sign-up fee. For every person that joins before leaving this room, we're going to add the first person who joins is going to get thir uh, three months extra on top of 12 months. So in other words, you're going to get 15 months service for 240. Got that? Okay, we already have one. We have one. So that's 15 months service right away. For every other person that joins, I'm going to add one month on and give it to you all. So if someone else joins, I'm going to give you 14 months, everybody. Is there anybody else here? Okay, one, two. So 14, 15 months. 
So already you're getting 15 months. Actually, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're getting three months on top of 12, which is 15 months for you. 16, 17 months. So I got 17 months already for you guys. After that, the websites are free for three months. That's correct. No, 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 no. The websites are free for three months. Whenever you get a website from us, it's free right off the bat. You get it. Whenever you want the website, it's free for three months. After that, it's $19 a month. No. You pay two forty to ICI World. It's separate from the website. Nineteen dollars and ninety-nine cents a month if you want to keep the website after three months. Yeah, you get it free for three months right off the beginning. That's right. That's correct. The only other extra cost you will have is for your own personal domain name. Well, the domain names are $16.95 per year. $16.95 per year. Some people think it's expensive. If you do, you can get them from GoDaddy for $11.95 per year. <laughs> five, say five bucks. I'm just letting you know. This is what everybody... Well, I'll, let, me, let me explain why. No, it's a good question. It's a good question. I'm going to tell you why. Once you start to learn, look at in the beginning people, just getting going is your target. Just in the beginning, just getting going. Once you get going and you've got everything looking snazzy, let me give you an example of the last website that was created just uh, not long ago. I'm going to go up here, login member management, and we have sample websites here. How many emails are you allowed to you're going to just use the email forwarded to your existing email address. You just forward it to what you've got. Turnkey revenue producing websites. I click on that. By the way, we have a booth at the Toronto Real Estate Board trade show. Did anybody ever see us at RealtorQuest? Okay, maybe I think I saw you there too, maybe. Um, we have one of the busiest booths at the show because we make a statement that you could have a... Uh, a $30,000 website and it wouldn't be as powerful as the ones we're supplying for 199 bucks a year. Let me give you an example. Here's uh, one of the last websites that was just created by Mary McLaughlin in Richmond Hill. And you tell me if this doesn't look like a really nice looking website. I mean we're talking 19 bucks a month. Right? What makes your money? It's these buttons. When I click on GTA Homes up comes all these homes on her website and when people are interested in one of these homes they give her a call yeah absolutely let's click on this one right here if it has an address what do we call that if it has an address a material defect okay I call it a material defect if you have an address now People say, by the way, you should mark this down on your sheets, in your internet worksheets. You should call the Toronto Real Estate Board. They have an IDX link for you. We will install it. We actually install that link for you from the Toronto. Call Toronto Real Estate Board. Ask for the IDX link. for You, you say, I want the IDX link for my website. Right. I want the IDX link for my website. Okay? And we are going to install that link on your website for you. Yeah. That's going to be the MLS listings. Yeah. Yeah. If somebody wants to go around behind your back... Yeah, but there's going to be other people that, uh, that don't know and that you'll still get some calls. If people don't want to deal with you, they're not going to deal with you. But you can make these buttons anything you want. You notice here we, she has Richmond Hill and all York region. That's what she wants. That's where she works. You're all going to have a Scarborough button maybe. Would a Scarborough button be nice for you? 
Vaughn. Vaughn, you can have it. Okay. Uh, may I ask a question? Yes. Uh, you said there and from the yeah, see this here? Correct. Can there be more than one area? Yes. Or yes. So for example, First of all, this website yeah. is called a standard. Do you see that standard? Yeah. That's the $19.99 a month. Mm -hmm. You have 15 pages. 15, 15 buttons, 15 buttons. Our goal, just one second, hold that thought, don't let it go. Our goal is to help you start making money with these websites. If you start making, upgrading to the professional website, which is, that has a few more features. Once you're making money. Once you're making money, that's what everybody says. Say, Gary, once I make some money, I don't mind upgrading. <laughs> Just start me with this one. This one can start making you money right away. What areas are you thinking no, of? Like what I'm saying is, for example, this office is located in, uh, in Scarborough. Yes, sir. So we have, obviously, Scarborough covered here. I mean, I am Personally, I recommend a couple of buttons for you already. Yeah. One of them is called GTA. And literally, it's from Burlington to Oshawa. Now, the reason we do that is this. Some people say, I don't sell homes in Oakville and Oshawa. I, I just sell homes only in my area. So they remove all these buttons. No, no, no. no just listen to me. I've got to look at You know what I'm finding? A lot of people are not using these tools properly. I'm on a teaching mission with you. Okay? Because I want to make, I've learned from the school of hard knocks, okay? <laughs> that sometimes people get them and then they change it away to their idea. But I've already been through their ideas and they know they don't work. Isn't it better if you got a call from somebody looking on your website for a home in Burlington? They say, can you help me? And you're going to say, I certainly can. What's your license for? Your license You know, and you can, yeah, in Ontario. That's right. Now, you should also have, if you specialize in Scarborough, have a Scarborough button. Now, guess what? These buttons are so easy to make that if all of a sudden you got one buyer that was looking in Barrie, your family member, and they're looking in Barry. Guess what? You put a Barry button. button until they buy a property, and then remove it and put something else. But these, listings come from other these listings are coming from the members who are members of this point two network only. Mm -hmm. But they have to be licensed real estate people, so they have MLS listings and they have exclusive listings. Have boards, right? Yes. So yeah. 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 Yes. Condos, yes. Would have covered the entire spectrum anyway, wouldn't it? Yes. And then she puts a special. And then uh, she works Richmond Hill in York Region, okay. so and she has. Choosing that as a specific. Uh, exactly. Choice. She can't put GTA. Right? Now I asked her. Oh, already there. You can put GTA too, but her specific area is Richmond Hill. Well, she's got both. No, no, she's got she already has the GTA. She already has the GTA home. The she's got GTA homes up here and GTA condos and Richmond Hill and all York region is right here now I have a question for you Gary okay Benny go ahead Benny once you install the IDS link I yes. IDX link to so yes yes and all these buttons GTA homes GTA condos all these uh, buttons will have MLS listings as well yes and let me show you right now I'm going to click on GTA Homes just to start with. These initial listings always come up as her listings. You'll see those listings come up. Those are all her listings right. in the beginning. Okay? okay? And how I know that is because all of a sudden the listings start going down from a higher price. You can have them sorted in many different ways. But let me just click on this one. Uh, let me just, I'm going to go to even, I don't know. Let's go to page two just for fun. So MLS listings. You know, some of the listings show MLS, right? That's correct. So I just, wanted, I just wanted to confirm these listings are not updated manually. These things are pulled to no. Uh, MLS. No, 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 no. These listings are all managed by the existing salespeople themselves. These listings, not the, the IDX link is the one that's managed automatically. You don't have to touch it. Once you have the IDX okay, link, that's that automatic. Button. These listings are put on by the individual salesperson who's got that property. Now there's an advantage to doing this. When you put a listing on this point two network, mm -hmm. one second people, you're asking excellent questions today. This is, uh, we've really covered a lot here today. 
Let me just show you something. When you put it on the point two network, the coverage that you're going to get is incredible. Your properties are actually appearing right in Google. People can search Google for an area and come up with your list without even visiting your website because they're geocoded. Once you put it into the point two network, they're geocoded right off the bat. So you've got some advantages to being in on some of these other services that are on the internet. Um, search engine optimization, absolutely essential. So this is part of what's included in your $240. And so far we're up to one, two, three. So we had 15, 16, 17 months so far that we have. And anybody else that's in, by the way, the maximum is 24 months. So even if more people join, we can't go over 24. Again, just in finishing, websites are like billboards. It's actually good to have more than one. Um, your homes will have, your customers are going to love it. They're absolutely going to love the way you're marketing homes on the internet. You also have automatically delivery of new listings to your, um, to your clients and your prospects, and the clients must call you for more information. Go ahead. Yes? No, your listing won't even show. If you have no listings. Oh, uh, I would remove the button if you haven't got any listings. Yeah, I would remove it. Some people don't, but you should remove it. They don't realize, and that's a good question. You've got to look at, this is your storefront, people. If you open up your own brokerage office on a main street, you're going to get a can of paint, your whole family, you're going to go in there and paint the store. You're going to get nice desks, and you're going to get lighting and flowers and greenery. This is your storefront, people. There's 1.9 billion people on the Internet, and enough people are not taking everything seriously in this business yet. This is still cutting-edge technology. The options are incredible, and that's why we're up to 200,000 real estate people with these websites. Um, what else? I've talked to you a little bit about how to hand out a business card, triggering leads, doing referrals. Um, referrals are great, better than listing and selling real estate. Why? Because they only take five minutes to do and they're averaging three to ten thousand dollars. And that's where we get into this. Remember I said at the beginning, I forgot your first name there. Uh, Sebastian. Sebastian. Remember I said in the beginning that someday when you're retired, would you mind doing the odd five-minute referral that makes you three to $10,000? You can do this while you're retired someday. And the nice part about it is when you're retired, you really don't have to work. You're going to do it because you want to have fun and stay in touch with the business because you have this knowledge of how to do referrals and, and all this stuff and how to collect checks and, and everything. So why don't salespeople do more referrals now? Uh -huh. Just because you don't get the leads. But if you got the leads, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the benefits for all residential and commercial brokers and salespeople is the knowledge on how to make these websites work. You haven't studied the thing for many years like we have. You're so busy out there just trying to make a living to pay the bills. You haven't had a chance to study all this stuff like we have. So that's another reason for the 240 per year plus the links that we put on your website, all that kind of stuff. We have personal support by printouts. There's a manual. <coughs> there's videos. And most of all, we have one-on-one -on -one technical support. Uh, the first website is totally set up by us, and it's totally customi customizable by you. There's powerful listing tools. I didn't even show all the wants. There's wants for apartment buildings, wants for shopping centers, businesses. You can print that out, use it in your listing presentations, and your customers will love their homes featured on the website. Circulation throughout the world, all these various different things. You can make up open house presentation kits right from it. We've already talked about websites are like billboards. We help you every step of the way. Please consider us as a marketing and personal assistant. Now, in your documents, you're going to see something back here at the, at the, at the back here. And it's called a uh, evaluation sheet. Can you please pull that out? Evaluation, please, people. On the right side? Uh, you know something I'm yeah, looking right. at? It's on the right side, is it? Yeah. it? Or left side? Left side, evaluation. Can I just see it one second? Uh, just 
people, it looks like this, evaluation sheet. Can you please fill it out? Uh, do you mind filling it out? It just takes 30 seconds, and uh, I really would appreciate it. In consideration of my time, sharing my time with you, uh, would you please just fill it in? i just like a little feedback. This helps me for the future to design these seminars to make them functional for you, education, knowledge, to help you benefit from the Internet. That's correct. You get, the G, you get the HST back. All I need is a credit card from you. The rest is tax deductible. No. I'm up to 17 months. The, I got 15, 16, 17. The next person that joins, everybody gets 18 months. Everybody. Yes. Right now we're up to 17. You're getting 17, 17, and 17 months. The special uh, to join later is the $360 to join for. I'm just letting you know later. Please don't ask me later for the special. Once people leave, it's the special. I only do it in this. I think you wanted the special a long time ago. We didn't give it to her. We just don't do it, people. It's three hundred and sixty dollars for eight months if you want to join later. Um, one broker placed a four million dollar shopping center on Treb. He got four calls. He placed it on ICI Will, got over thirty calls. Our recommendation is simply that it's important simply to include ICI World in your real estate business practice in the world today. Simply include it. It's just a tool, like buying a gardening tool. It helps you do something special. We've covered all that, two databases on our service. We're in over 120 countries of the world. On the first page in Google, it helps people find your information quick. Amongst, and that's why I showed you the testimonials in the beginning, how many people are doing business. There's people, some people not doing business on our service, but there's a reason for anyone not doing business on our service. And really, in my opinion, it's not about the listing, it's really about the people behind the service. Out of 28,000 listings, only about 5,000 of them are actually on real estate boards. The three questions, very important. That can help you, and everyone on our service should have 15 opportunities on ICI World. Everyone. And everybody should have 15. Three months. I challenge every single person on our network, not just yourself in this room, to get up to 15. I will show you how to get up to 15. And how we, um, how we show you is, let me just show you right now. We have a, uh, let me just go to our one website. And the first thing that you're going to be seeing is a, uh, a movie coming up here in a minute. And uh, the movie is uh, a 60-minute movie. You watch that first movie whenever you have chance over the weekend, late at night. Just get a bowl of soup and a sandwich. And uh, it'll show you how to get up to 15. I don't know what's happening there. And so I help you. I'm, you work with us, and I'll show you. We have a special arrangement. If you already have a point to website, we'll show you how all that works. OK, we'll look after. Well, you just stay with me. I have a solution for you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I have my credit card. But, um, yes, sir. Brand new, though, like, uh, um, as long as you have a license to trade in real estate, you're in business with us. That's all right. That's all right. There was talk about. Okay, one second. Okay, you got that answered. Okay, you can, do, you can do business now. Now, typically you might ask your broker for a little help, sometimes ask some few guys in the office, and you call us for a little help if you don't know. But if you're aggressive, then <clears throat> you can go to bat on your first one, if the, and if you have a good relationship with someone, <clears throat> you can learn on that first deal a lot of things to do. Right?
And you'll you'll <clears throat> you'll find that only. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. No. No. <clears throat> you're just gonna bring you're you're just gonna bring that back right now. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Not a problem. Okay. Question. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, what I I I hear what you're saying. There's a well. <clears throat> okay, very good. Okay, but did you fill in the application? You okay? If you want to fill in the application and call the number in, I can give you the special. But you got to fill the application and leave it with me. Okay, well, I got my name, I can talk to the Yeah, but you just got to fill the application in that's there. Yeah, come here, come here. Just state, where's your business card? I'll show you what I mean. You got a business card there? <clears throat> Getty. Um, just fill in the application and say, we'll call in credit card. Yeah. Yes, uh, Benny. Uh, I have to go now. Okay. Uh, but you in or out, Benny? I would like to register. Okay. Uh, then what you do is you go to iciworld.net slash and the word corporate. Just mark it down. iciworld.net slash and the word corporate. Okay. Now we had 15, 16, 17. Another gentleman's joining the call in his credit card. That's 18. If you're in, I'll announce 19. Okay. Are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, 19. He's in. 19. Okay, you got to fill in the application and leave it with me now. The application. You call in the credit card. I'm letting him call his credit card in. It's in the. It's in your thing. We're up to 20. We're up to 20, Benny. Okay. Okay, we're at 20. All right. And Benny, in your case, you simply go to iciworld.net slash and the word corporate, and you can make your payment online. All right. I'll do that right now. Yeah, you can do that uh, on your time. Now, the system will only then, give you I one. Benny, just one second. How many months? I'm just, we're up to 20. Uh, Benny. Yes. Benny, just one second. Uh, the system will only give you 12 months. <clears throat> uh, you have to trust me to make it 20 months tonight, <clears throat> today or tomorrow. That's fine. Okay, so everybody here is getting 20. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you so much, Gary. <clears throat> uh, oh, oh, yeah. There it is right there. Just fill that in. Just say credit card to come. What's that? Application special. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just, in fact, if you want, just if you got a business card, just staple your business card and put your credit card number. That's all you need. You don't even have to fill it out. <clears throat> you have? Um, did I get one of your business cards here? I can even. I didn't have it. Okay. Oh, Kabir. Yeah. Just staple this up here. Um, okay, got it. Okay, uh, just your credit card number down there. <clears throat> I don't even need the three-digit code. Just your credit, your name, and the credit card number. That's good enough. <clears throat> oh yes, yeah. We've got people in the office now helping out. And your big thing is to get into the webinar every day from 11 to 1, okay? In fact, we've been going all day long lately. Even after 1, we go right till 5 o'clock sometimes. <clears throat> We're pretty well always 11 to 1 almost every day. So if you can't do it today, this tomorrow, the next day, this week, and if you're really stuck, 
then we'll try to do something special either on a Thursday night or a Saturday at 12, if absolutely necessary. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to stop the presentation. <laughs> I got us. I'm still recording. Okay, people, everything's officially ended. When this finishes, there will be a little uh, uh, for you, Benny. There's going to be a little uh, survey come up. If you don't mind filling it in, Benny, I would appreciate it. Sure, no problem. I'll do that. Okay, and I'm going to stop recording here. Oh, thank you for reminding reminding me here. I've got to stop this recording. Here we go. Stop uh, recording.